Meanwhile, at the bottom of Lake Michigan lies a mysterious pattern of ancient rocks. Could this be an underwater Stonehenge? <laughs> 3D photogrammetry could uncover new clues hidden on the rocks for millennia. Rob Nelson has spent a lifetime finding history's hidden treasures right beneath our very feet, using the latest technology, and now he gets to showcase all his adventures in the new science channel's Secrets of the Underground. And Rob joins me right now. Greetings, Rob. Hey, Jeff. So, Rob, I watched the first few episodes of Secrets of the Underground. I am totally fascinated by it. When did you discover so many things that were hidden right beneath our feet? Um, well, as a marine scientist, I've always known that there are a lot of secrets that essentially we know very little about a lot of the world. And I've always used tech to try to answer science problems. That kind of was a natural leap to this show. And I think maybe the first time was when I started looking at shipwrecks. Even though it's under, underwater, it's practically underground. It's kind of the same technology you'd use to see things underground. I think one of my favorite adventures of yours in Secrets of the Underground is when you went to the Seelbach Hotel to find Al Capone's secret escape passageway during Prohibition. I mean, how did you get permission from the hotel to do what you did? Well, it helps to have a TV show, first of all, <laughs> behind you. Um, but a lot, of these, a lot of these places work like the Seelbach because they bring in tourists. And so they do want a little bit of the publicity. Um, they don't let anybody else down there. Uh, and a lot of the places that we found here looking for Al Capone's secret tunnels, a lot of the people in the hotel hadn't even explored before. In fact, we went down into the basement there and they had to pull crates away from some of these like passageways for us to get inside. None of the people we talked to had ever been in there. Even there was a legend that he used these, but nobody had explored them in recent history. Now, I know you use cutting-edge technology to find all these secret passageways and stuff, but when you were trying to find Al Capone's escape route, I just wanted you to pick up an X and just start chopping up the floor. I know. It would be so much easier if I could just take a bulldozer and start digging underground for a lot of the things that we're doing. Um, obviously, with Al Capone, the hotel didn't want us to start tearing up the, the carpet. Um, and a lot of the places that we're going to are archaeologically important. Um, ancient history, there's bones or something, and they're not just going to let us start tearing into things. You have, there's like a big process that you would have to go through. So you have to use this technology that will kind of allow you to figure out what's there without destroying it. Now, speaking of high-tech devices, you use something called GPR. Tell me all about that. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that we use the most during the show is ground penetrating radar, GPR. It works very similar to how a sonar does on a boat. You know, sonar sends out these pings, sound waves, and they bounce off of things that are a different density, like a submarine or something. Well, GPR sends electromagnetic waves through the ground, and then things like rocks, which might be different density, or um, rebar, for instance, in a wall, will bounce back a signal. So for in the case of Al Capone, we were able to scan the wall, see how thick it was. We were able to see if it was reinforced. Um, really fascinating tech. Even more technology used is something called LIDAR, and where it kind of like maps out the room with laser technology. Yeah, LIDAR is a fascinating technology because it sends out millions of laser beams. Those laser beams bounce off of things, send it back to a computer which processes it, processes it, and then it allows you to, in three-dimensional space, spin it around. And it, it's so precise that you can kind of see things that the naked eye wouldn't necessarily see, like where an old door might have been in a wall, or in this case, a staircase leading down into a basement. Now, of all the places you've explored, Rob, is there one that's a particular favorite? I think that going to Alcatraz and trying to find all those secret passages in the dead of night it sounds pretty creepy. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, Alcatraz was one of the more interesting ones. And part of the reason for that is, well, one, we were finding uh, anomalies there that might indicate a new tunnel. So we were looking for tunnels. But also, you know, it's a tourist destination. There are millions of people that visit Alcatraz but you don't do it at night. And so we basically came when the last ferry had left and it was just us and six people on the crew that had free reign of the island for the entire night. So we, let me tell you, it's both cold and kind of creepy on that island um, during the night hours. Deep beneath America's most notorious prison, 
A recent discovery is revealing old rumors of a secret tunnel system. Do you think those are air pockets? Was escaping Alcatraz more plausible than we thought? I'm going to see where it goes. New ground penetrating radar tests could reveal a side of the rock we've never seen. Now, I'm sure there are so many places on your list to go exploring, but where is there a particular place where you couldn't get permission to shoot? Yeah, yeah, there actually was a lot of places that I really wanted to explore that we weren't able to get permission to. One was in New York. Um, Tesla had a secret underground laboratory, apparently, but the Tesla Society put a, you know, they said, nope, can't go down into the secret laboratory. But we were really hoping we could do that one. Now, Secrets of the Underground just seems like a perfect fit for the Science Channel. I'm sure they said yes right away when you pitched the show. Um, yeah, so I think the great thing now is that Science Channel is trying to bring back science to the network. And so this is a great blend of really hardcore science, but also this adventure to go out and try to figure out what's going on. I mean, I have a whole production crew that's uh, allowed me to go to these places so I can kind of come in fresh. It adds a, a nice sense of adrenaline. It's watchable for TV. So if you like science or not, I think you're going to like this show. Well, Rob, congratulations on the show. Uh, it's just fascinating. I just think I love history and I love exploring and I love technology. It all comes together really well. But you've got to come to Las Vegas. I'm sure there's lots to explore here. I would love to come to that area. It's a great, pay great part of the country. Thanks, Jeff. Rob Nelson, thanks so much for speaking to me today. And you can catch Rob's show on the Science Channel, Secrets of the Underground. Check local listings for time and day. Pretty cool stuff. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFromCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.